You guys were impressed when you saw what I found from 12 thrift stores in two days. Well, just wait and see what I found from 18 thrift stores in just one day. Welcome to day three of Thriftmas. Every time I call an op shop a thrift store, I betray my nation. The Australians scream at me in the comments section whenever they hear me say thrifting. But you see, I'm just saying it to fit in with the cool American kids. But uh, on Google Maps, when you type in op shop in your local area, it'll pop up and tell you what sort of places are nearby. Now, I typed in op shop and I picked out 18 stores that I thought would be a an easy driving path to drive between. I planned it so that my day started at 9 a.m. right when the first store opened and it goes all the way through until 5 p.m. when the last store closes. Obviously, you don't need to go to every single one of the stores that I'm gonna show you in this video, but there are some that I would consider uh, not to be missed if you're in Sydney. I was mostly on the lookout for homewares, Christmas presents, things for my kitchen, things for my husband, my family, friends. And like I said, if you thought that the last Last video had a good selection. Just wait until you see what I've bought today. So with that, let's head out to 18 thrift stores in one day. The salvos at Mariong is huge. I found some of my favorite home decor pieces here. These days when I get to a thrift store, I make a beeline for the spoons. Not only is spooning one of my favorite pastimes, I'm constantly on the lookout for quirky and unique designs that I can turn into jewelry. I think I could make these into bangles. The homewares are all colour coordinated here. I have these pink IKEA plates at home already and they actually cost the same at IKEA as they did here. This frilly vase, oh my god, okay, I know it has a black rim, so it's not pastel, but how could I turn it down? This is stunning and so unique. These candlestick holders look like they were pretty old. They're a little bit scratched up. I liked the pastel colored one. I don't have much of a use for candlestick holders. Look, as much as I want to buy every colorful vase I see, I must resist sometimes. <laughs> These spoons were hiding in this box. They're made in Japan, and I was thinking that these would look really cute as earrings. I found the same bowls as the pink ones, but this time they were in blue. They were split up between uh, different color sections of the store, so I could have easily missed them if I hadn't been looking very closely. I'll tell you what, having a small car is a blessing and a curse. I couldn't fit this cabinet in the car, which made me sad, but it made my wallet very, very happy. The Salvos in Seven Hills is probably the biggest I've been to. Oh, this place is huge. Oh my god, it's massive. The first thing I saw when I walked in the door was a pink frilly plate tray thing. It's like they put it there just to tempt me. Once again, I headed straight to the homewares and dove headfirst into a bowl of teaspoons. I said to myself I would only buy the ones that looked really, really interesting. Who would have thought that spoons could look so very interesting? My love for iridescence is on another level. If I was Voldemort, all of my horcruxes would be iridescent, like this plate. I'm obsessed with decorative glass statement pieces and this thing would be perfect for propagating plants. This bowl reminded me of the black plate that I found at the previous store. It had the same sort of swirls on it. Frames are always a great Christmas gift to give and you can put photos of you and your friends in them. This store had the biggest furniture selection I've seen so far. You could literally fill an entire house with the things here. God, this, this is a fake Chanel bag. Bless their hearts, they probably thought it was real because they've priced it at $120. Oh my God, that place was Huge! I could have spent the whole day in there, literally, but I gave myself 30 minutes and the majority of that 30 minutes was spent looking at spoons. But I did get 36 spoons for $12, so that's a steal. Anyway, stay tuned for the thrift flip on the spoons, but now I'm heading to Borkham Hills. It had only been a few days since I was last at this store and uh, nothing new had been put out on the shelves. This is where I found my beautiful stone tray and there were also some nice pink sneakers here which have since been sold. I headed off to the Vinnies at Castle Hill again, hoping that they'd put out some new things since I was last there. There were a few cute new things out, but Pegasus was gone. Someone adopted him, and I hope he's happy now at his forever home. Pegasus was gone, the Royal Dalton Cups were gone. Uh, there were a couple of little tiny things that I thought I should buy, but then I remembered just how many more stores I'm going to today, and I was like, hmm. No, I'll save my money, but usually that place is very, very good. So I'll come back in like a week or two when they've had time to restock. All right, so I'll tell you guys a funny story. So basically last week when I was thrifting in Windsor, 
I went walking up to the Vinnies and I was saying to myself, okay, I really want to find a mushroom lamp. Anyway, so I've heard about this thing called positive um, manifestation where you can like manifest things into existence. Now, I'm not going to say that I necessarily believe in that, but hey, when you're desperate for a mushroom lamp, it's worth a try. So I'm walking toward this Vinnies and I'm saying to myself, mushroom lamp, mushroom lamp, mushroom lamp, mushroom lamp. And then I get there, lo and behold, okay, look, it's not the mushroom lamp that I was after. I, I want a Murano glass mushroom lamp, but it was a vintage Ikea mushroom lamp and it was pink. And I was so happy. Like I was just beside myself, overjoyed. And anyway, so I'm heading to the Pennant Hills Vinnies now and I'm hoping I might be able to find some Murano glass there. Uh, Murano glass, I believe it's Italian. I don't know if Murano is a brand or like a style, but essentially like art glass, you know, like blown glass that has dots and stripes and all things like that. I've been coming to this Vinnie's my entire life, quite literally since I was a baby. My family raised me on basically exclusively thrifted items and this is where we bought it all from. This brings back memories. I literally have pictures of me here as a child, like a little teeny, teeny, tiny toddler. I don't know how much homeware they'll have. Uh, they have a lot of clothing. I used to buy all of my work uniforms from here. They had one wall of homeware. Not much that interested me, but what did catch my eye was this gorgeous antique looking mirror. This one was $90 though, and the smaller version was 50. And on day one, I got a much bigger gold mirror for the same price. So um, I didn't get these. Well, I had no luck in Vinnie's and I was just about to get in the car and leave. And then I spotted this. This is a lifeline. I completely forgot this was here. I'm excited. It looks like they got heaps of stuff. My mum used to bring me to this lifeline when I was younger. And the reason I forgot about it was because it's mostly homewares. And when I was younger, there was nothing more boring to me than plates, lamps and vases. But I'm a homeowner now and I'm almost 30. And if you're a 90s baby that also collects quirky mugs, you'll understand the joy that I felt when I found this. This store seriously had some of the most beautiful glassware I've seen so far. And uh, I most certainly owe my mother an apology for all the times I declined visiting Lifeline with her when I was 16. I thought I'd hit the jackpot when I found another one of these swirly glass bowls to add to my collection. But then, Would you believe it? The universe smiled upon me today and blessed me with another vintage IKEA mushroom lamp. Oh my god. Shit. Look, I don't know if it's divine intervention or what, but I swear on my life that I did not stage that. But I didn't stage that. D divine intervention or am I the luckiest person in the world? Maybe that's the same thing, I'm not sure. I feel like I shouldn't manifest anything else because maybe I've got limited powers, you know, and if I use them all, then I'll never be able to use them again. Maybe it's like a genie. Maybe I've got three wishes. Maybe I've just used two of my wishes and I've only got one left. So I feel like I shouldn't wish for anything else today. I'm just going to carry on to Westley and Hornsby, etc., without wanting anything specifically because I don't want to use up my magic. I'm lost. I am so lost. I have never been to Westley before. And I can see the salvos on the map, but I can't find it. It's okay, I found it. It's in this shopping center. I thought that it was gonna be like a standalone thing, but look, there's the sign up there, salvos. So I had no idea this store existed. And when I found it on Google Maps, I expected it would be tiny, like the Vinnies at Pennant Hills, but it was huge. They had an enormous selection of homewares, like this pastel toothbrush holder for $1. I don't have to put toothbrushes in it. I can put plants in it if I want. Love a good Pokemon find and love pastel ice cream bowls. I spotted this guy, which is the same as the set from day one. I've seen this rainbow mug at so many stores and I'm starting to think people get rid of it because it's not particularly practical to drink out of a rectangular opening. I would have died for this iridescent bag a few years ago, but these days I prefer to spend my money on pastel martini glasses instead. So this place used to be called the Wombat Store, I think it was. It's a, another op shop. I didn't realize that they've changed to Fusion Op Shop, but uh, let's have a look. I'm constantly amazed by how many cool glass vases I keep finding. And I loved this, but I thought it was a little too expensive. 
Does anyone recognize that logo on the side? I would love to know where it's from. I ummed and art about it for so long that I couldn't figure out what it was meant to be used for. Is it a vase? Is it a bowl? Is it a cup? Anyway, someone started coughing up a lung and despite me wearing a mask and there being no new cases in my state for weeks on end, I hightailed it out of there because someone coughing once gives me anxiety. Off to Vinny's, it's directly down the road here. It's literally just in a straight line. I probably could have left my car where it was, but if I end up buying anything bulky, I don't want to have to carry it down the street. So just a couple of hundred meters down this way and there's a big Vinny's. All right, here we are, high hopes. I've got high, high hopes. It's parallel to a train station, so if you don't drive, don't worry, you can easily get here. Oh my god, look. Another one of my horcruxes. And it's an iridescent narwhal. Hey, recognize this guy? This is from the same collection as a vase I saw out at the Salvos in Richmond on day one. I didn't get that vase, but now that I've found a second piece from that collection, I think I need to race back out there for it. This thing is crazy. Just pause for a moment and read it. It might not be a mushroom lamp, but it's still shaped like a mushroom. This Salvos is on the other side of the train line to the first two stores, so if you aren't driving, it's a fair bit of a walk, but it had a really large selection of items, so I would say that it's worth it. Just don't try to make the walk on a 40 degree day. <laughs> I both hate and love this mirror at the same time. And would you look at that? It's another noodle vase. It's from the same collection as the four I found on day one. This little pink plate is from the same set as a plate I spotted at the Lifeline in Pennant Hills. Didn't buy it, but I find it crazy how I keep finding matching items so far apart from each other. So this little store is a converted house sitting on Old Northern Road in Galston. I've driven past it so many times and I've never gone in. They had a pretty good selection of items ranging from homewares to clothes and it was reasonably priced too, but there was nothing I wanted. I left feeling a little bit disappointed, but also you've got to remember that you don't always have to buy something. Don't write a store off because it didn't have what you wanted. Give them some time to restock and check back in a couple of weeks. And remember, just have fun. Just enjoy looking at quirky items. You don't always have to buy something. I headed to the Salvos in Dural, another favorite of mine for many, many years. I literally have this at home. And look, the donut light is still there. This is so cool. It's a coffee table with four mini coffee tables underneath it. I headed to the Vinnie's at Round Corner where I once again found some very interesting vases. This one must have come from New Zealand because it was a uh, sweet as bro. I was so tempted by this cushion and I would have bought it, but I got distracted by this. I have two of these at home already, so obviously I had to get another one. Once I was done here, I headed along Annengrove Road and I popped out near the Vinnies at Rouse Hill. This is a really small store with a tiny homeware selection. These glasses were cool, but they had no base on them. When you're drinking, what's gonna fall over first? You or your glass? I loved this frame, but it had this beautiful porcelain floral artwork with it, and I didn't want to destroy it by ripping that out and putting a photo in it. They color coordinate their clothing here, which is very helpful. And look at these iridescent wine glasses. So tempting. <sighs> I have my biltong. I have some South African drinks. This is twist. I don't really know what it is, but I'll give it a try. And this lychee one. And uh, look, I was going to give up for the day, but, but seeing as I'm in Rouse Hill, I'm going to make the trek to Windsor and potentially Richmond. I'll see how I go for time. It's just coming on three o'clock. Unfortunately, the Windsor Salvos is going to be shut. They close at 2.30, but the others all close at five. I've been to 14 places. I just counted. May as well bring that up to 17. Why not? Uh, if only I could have done 20, but alas, I'm only human. <laughs> the drive to Windsor is beautiful. All this land here is under the flood line, which means they can't use it for residential purposes. So it means there's endless plains of green as far as the eye can see. All right, so Vinnie's at Windsor had me hooked before I even got through the door. This was $15 and it's perfect to use as a plant stand. I saw this jug last time I came here and I didn't buy it because it had a made in China sticker on the bottom, meaning it's not, you know, like expensive Italian glass, and yet it was priced at $30. So as much as I love it, I think it's a bit too expensive. Every thrift store I've been to has had something pineapple themed. 
in like 2016, I think it was, pineapples were all the rage. And I feel like all the millennials have bought pineapple things to decorate their apartments with have decided they're over it now and they've all ended up being donated. This store had a huge Christmas range and I will totally make a thrifted Christmas decorations video. And if you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss it. I wanted this vase so bad, but it was up high on a shelf and I was too socially awkward to ask a staff member to get it down for me. If you head further towards the Blue Mountains, you come across Richmond, a beautiful historic town with three thrift stores. This Finney's is really reasonably priced. It's where I got my huge gold mirror for $50. The furniture was super cheap too, and I also bumped into a subscriber here who knew it was me because she looked at my shoes and thought they were super cool and then saw my shocking hair dye job and knew it couldn't be anyone else. <laughs> Down the road is the Salvos where I found another of this vase that I found the other day. They had some nice clothing here and some good furniture too. Luckily this vase was still here so now I have a matching set and oh my god it's another one of my Horcruxes! An iridescent miniature vase! Oh my gosh, it is quarter to five. I'm done. There is one more op shop that I just tried to go into but they turned me away, they said they were closed. They closed at five, it was 4.45, they were like, sorry, we're closed, and I didn't want to be a Karen and say, but you close at five. So I was like, oh, sorry, and then I left. So uh, 17 thrift stores in one day. I have all of my wares, Kajita's wares. They're all down here, they're all, you know, through here and in the back seat and in the boot and everywhere. So um, I'm gonna go home. I don't think I'm gonna show you guys everything that I bought when I get home because I, the only thing I've eaten today is biltong. I'm starving and it's really hot and I'm really, really tired. So I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and then I'll show you guys the stuff from my haul. All right guys, that was Thriftmas day three. Now I know that I said that I wasn't gonna show you the stuff that I bought until the next episode, but look at my little lamp. No, oh, so cute. There's a pink one for my side of the bed and a blue one for Dan's side. I'm so happy. Anyway, with that, don't forget to come back tomorrow for Thriftmas Day 4. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah!